Do you remember being a kid when there was always a new toy line on the shelf? Pandemony Toys has brought back that feeling you had as a kid. Alternation action figures. Original heroes for a new generation. Shop now at Pandemony Toys. Ultra Maximus viewers get 10% off with code ULTRAMAX. Link in the description below. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. got cute little butterfly wings and your f you so look like flight of the navigator you so look like a jedi starfighter you so look like the Grand Master's good time orgy ship. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. And today we're going to take a look at a figure from a Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. It's Star Seeker Missile Starscream. Now, I found this figure at my local Walmart here in Center Grove, Indiana, uh, while I was out at lunch today, and uh, I like the design of this. He kind of looks like he has butterfly wings, uh, but the spaceship mode looks very interesting to me, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick him up. It's the first time I've seen him on the shelf, and the only one they had. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Star Seeker Missile Starscream in the packaging, and I feel like they should have just called him Star Seeker Starscream. I think that would have been a lot cooler. You're probably going to hear the birds in the background, FYI. It's in the evening, and they're cranky. <laughs> um, but it's the same kind of packaging that we've been getting with the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventure stuff. The box is a very flimsy, almost paper-like. Um, he looks like he's sitting down in the package, which is weird. Um, we get his little play gimmick there. It says Transformers. We get some artwork of him up there the side. Uh, we get some big bad Decepticons. So there they are right there. Um, yep, there's that. Looking all star screamy. I do like the translucent orange guns. That looks kind of cool. There's the logo, the artwork, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, back of the package here. Again, we get a, a little feature of the play gimmick. It says he is a scheming second in command, and he transforms from his spaceship mode into Starscream in five steps. And uh, it really kind of reminds me of the uh, ship that they stole from Jeff Goldblum's character in Thor Ragnarok. Uh, really kind of does. And then there's Bumblebee right there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the packaging uh, for this guy. Let's go ahead and uh, get Starscream out of package and see what we think. So here we have Star Seeker Starscream out of the packaging, and I like this figure. Do I like this figure for $12? Eh, I think it's about $2 too expensive for what it is. However, this has been one of my more favorite of the uh, Warrior Class Cyberverse figures. It is a beautiful painted figure. It is a very cool design, cool sculpt. It just needs more. Like, if they took this concept and applied it to a Generations figure, like a Siege type of figure, this would be an amazing Starscream. And I'm a little sad that we only get this Warrior class out of it. I really, really like it that much. Uh, you know, from the paint, the metallic paints, the vibrant colors, I do like these orange guns on his uh, wings there. The problem I've got is the play gimmick. I wish these were attached to his actual arms and not the wings. Um, but, you know, that's kind of a minor gripe. Uh, the other issue I have with the figure is because of the gimmick, this left gun doesn't always want to pop back into place because of the spring load. 
So with that being said, the play gimmick on this uh, figure is uh, pretty simple. Uh, you've got the nose cone in the back that you're going to push up, and his little guns are going to fire out just like that. And uh, yeah, there they are. Pew, 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 pew. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So you want to release this back a little bit so it's not uh, there. Pushing in, and then push that one down, and that one, of course. On camera, it works perfectly fine. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the gimmick again. Um, there we go. So yeah, that's, that's the play gimmick on it. Nothing too spectacular. The problem with the gimmick, it really limits the uh, arm articulation on the figure, and you can't really, I guess if you wanted to, you could have him, if you wanted him blasting, you could just lift the arms up like this and simulate the blasting look. Um, so I, I guess it works, but I think it would have been better if they were just guns that mounted onto his arms, uh, but these are known for their little gimmicky things. So I'm gonna put these down here, there we go. See, look, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to do it. Work, work. Come on, stick, stick. I mean, look at that. It just doesn't want to go down. Oh, that's what he told her. <laughs> there we go. All right, so as far as articulation goes on this figure, uh, the arms move up and down. They do not move in and out because of the gimmick. Uh, there is, um, uh, is there a, yeah, there is a hinge joint. Get on there. Um, on the arm itself, so it moves up and down. Nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist. Uh, the head does move back and forth. Uh, that's really for transformation. Legs kick up that far. They kick back a little bit. They're on a ball joint, so they can kick out like that. The knees have a joint. There we go, back into focus. So the knees uh, have a joint. The uh, the hips are on a ball socket. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the articulation on this guy. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, the sculpt on this figure is pretty good. I mean, it looks like Starscream uh, from the TV show. I definitely like the color scheme. I love the design of the chest, uh, the red highlights, the Decepticon logos look good. I like the red on the wings. Uh, very nice. Uh, we get the back of the character here. I like how the front wings fold up onto the larger wings. He's got his uh, little canopy for his jet back there at the backpack. And, I mean, it looks pretty decent, even though it's a play gimmick. It doesn't stick out as a play gimmick, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, but definitely um, dig that a lot. Really, really enjoying it. I like the little red on his chin from the show. I think that looks good. Overall, just a damn well-designed figure. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, I like the design. He's got these black hands, which is interesting. Um, I like the deep blue there. The vents on his chest look good. Uh, all the design around the waist. I like the design of the null rays. Uh, the translucent orange is kind of cool looking, but I would prefer, I think, if they were just bits that were on his arm. Um, I kind of wonder how long those will last over time. Again, we get the backpack with the nose hanging off there, uh, which, you know, doesn't really matter too much. Uh, the wings fold up really, really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, looks pretty good. Um, designed well, sculpted well, painted very well. Very heavy looking paint, which I dig. And finally, take a look at the legs of the figure. The back of the legs, very hollow. Unfortunately, um, you know, it really doesn't have much to do with transformation. It's just kind of cheap out, I think. Uh, but I do like the paint apps on the legs. I love that metallic blue. I wish they had that blue on the upper arms. Um, I think that would have looked a lot cooler. And maybe matching it with a metallic red. That would have been way cooler. But overall, uh, pretty decent. Uh, like I said, it looks almost like the feet should be, I don't know, like a base or something for a smaller bot. Almost look like shelving units. It's very strange. He's got, um, you know, the back pieces to hold him upright, which works, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's that metallic blue that catches the light that really set this figure off. For comparison... Here we have Star Seeker Missile Starscream with the Quintesson Judge from the same series. 
and they're about the same size, uh, so that works, I suppose. Um, definitely like the paint scheme of the Starscream better. I wish the Quintesson Judge wasn't so black. Wow, that sounded racist, didn't it? It's just all that black plastic, uh, you know, kind of detracts from the Quintesson Judge, even though that's kind of the way he is in the cartoon. Um, but uh, Starscream's definitely a lot prettier to look at with uh, the metallic uh, blue paint on him and the orange translucent plastic. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think Butterfly Wings looks a lot prettier. Now, transformation on this figure is relatively simple. Um, you're going to take his head and spin it around. It is a very tight mushroom joint. Um, so you're going to spin it around like that. You're going to take the nose cone and bring it up like this. So it kind of looks like that. And then you're going to take the legs and swing them back around the body. Bring the nose cone back down like that. And then you're going to unfold the front wings. And there we have it, Starscream in his Star Seeker mode, and uh, I like this mode. I think this looks really, really cool. Um, it looks, I don't know, very Buck Rogers, very uh, Ragnarok, uh, Thor Ragnarok to me. Very cool. I wish it had the Decepticon logos. I think that would have been cool. As you can see, when you put him down, though, um, oh, there he goes. Uh, he he kind of wobbles a little bit. You got to kind of balance him right to get him to sit proper. Um, you want to make sure his hands are plugged in, by the way. Um, underneath, there are pegs for the hands under there. Um, but yeah, looking at it, kind of a closer shot. I love that design. I think that, um, you know, he's pretty much just kind of folded up <laughs> our star screen underneath. Um, I think that would be a really cool um, Generations design. Can you imagine that with like uh, Siege type of quality? I mean, that would be gorgeous for sure. I mean, overall, whoosh, pretty cool. Unfortunately, the gimmick doesn't work very well in this mode when you do this with the gimmick. Um, it just puts the guns straight down. And yeah, I guess if he's doing a bombardment pew, 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 that way, right? So yeah, unfortunately, um, not so great there, but uh, everything else, I think that is a superb alternate mode, and I, I don't know. I want more of it. I uh, definitely hope we get Thundercracker um, and uh, Skywarp and the others. Uh, that would be very cool. Uh, Slipstream, all of them in this uh, format would be a lot of fun. So is the Star Seeker Missile Starscream something that you want in your Transformers collection? Well. If you're a Cyberverse completist, you're probably going to want this. If you're Starscream completist, you may want this. As a Fairweather Transformers fan, if you don't like the Cyberverse stuff, this is a very, very easy pass. Me, personally, I think it's a very interesting design. Uh, the play gimmick is so-so. I'm not too hip on the play gimmicks. Um, this one's all right. It's just that one gun kind of sticks out, which I will probably pose it like this since that weapon always wants to pop up anyway, and it gives it kind of a nice Starscream shooting kind of vibe. I think the sculpt looks great on it. I love the uh, space jet mode. The metallic blue is gorgeous. I wish they would have used that uh, with the other blue and the deep red on the figure. Um, I think that would have came out really, really nice. And maybe we'll get that with a Takara version. Um, that would be kind of cool. I really do hope that we get uh, the other Seekers um, in this mold uh, because it is a cool looking design. I think it was wasted with the Cyberverse line and would have been a much better Generations style uh, figure. But eh, what do I know? I just buy the toys. So there he is, Star Seeker Missile Starscream from Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.